Well, it's absolutely marvellous to see uh, so many groups from across the whole of the north coming together and uniting under this one theme to stop these Tory cuts. You see by the range of groups here how many uh, groups and how many people are going to be affected by this here. And we are absolutely delighted at the turnout today. It shows that people care, that people are standing together and that people have a united goal. And the united goal is very simple, stop these Tory cuts. This is only one of a whole series of rallies uh, which have been organised, community awareness meetings and local community centres, uh, places like Belfast here. So this is only one of a series of meetings. As you know, there was a trade union conference uh, just last week again in Belfast, very, very well attended. So this is part of a process where people are making themselves aware of what's going on and making their voice strongly heard that they're opposed to this kind of a cuts agenda. This is not just about people who are on benefits. And bear in mind, at some point, a lot of people will find themselves on benefit, people who are on low income. The trade unions and others have produced figures which are, I, everybody's except they're factually accurate, but almost half of the people who are in receipt of some type of benefit are working and often full time. Uh, so people uh, are on a low wage, they're low paid, and they're receiving whether it's tax credits, child credits, or some other type of a benefit. So people need to be aware when they're hearing about this austerity agenda, which is really a cuts agenda, that it may well affect a lot, a lot of people who at this moment in time, public don't even realise that they will be impacted by these cuts. Stand up for your right. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your right. Get up, stand up. Give up the right. Tory cuts is going to affect every family across the north in one way or another. And we, as a Republican youth of the city of Belfast, we felt it absolutely crucial to be here uh, and to get our numbers. I mean, young people is going to be hit hard. It's not just young people, it's going to be the, the, the elderly and those who are, who are, who are unemployed. Uh, so, yes, it was very, very important that we are here. The, the way these cuts normally, normally go is they affect the most vulnerable. That's the effect most vulnerable. And if you go into a district like Ardoin, that's, that's what you have. You've got vulnerable people living in Ardoin who rely on benefits, who rely on uh, working tax credits. And these are the things that are going to be hit by these cuts. And people need to wake up and realise that these are the people that are going to be affected. Well, the pink ladies turned up here today. Well, the pink ladies have turned up here today because in our experience, these proposed welfare um, Tory cuts are going to impact upon cancer sufferers across the north of Ireland, but indeed across the, the north of Ireland, England, Scotland and Wales. We personally have experienced uh, things such as how ESA, Disability Love and Alliance change and DPAP, and more importantly, cancer services being cut across the board, particularly the fact that we're from the northwest. So, not a, not a wee slant on Belfast or anything, but a lot of our people are actually choosing not to travel to Belfast for life-changing treatment because of the cost of what that could mean to them. Seven and ten cancer sufferers will suffer extreme, extreme dire circumstances, and that includes losing the roof over their head. Um, one in twenty are presenting with under Macmillan research with possibly missing a meal in order to save money, and that is a crucial time. People suffering with chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and the debilitating circumstances and side effects that that leaves them in. Money shouldn't be a worry for them. Money shouldn't be an option. Life is life, and every human being has a right to the best treatment possible. I represent people in South Belfast in some of the most disadvantaged working class areas like the market, the Lower Arm Road, Donegal Pass and the village. These cuts if imposed by the Tory Lib Dem government would have a devastating impact on those communities, communities which have already suffered so much in the past. The majority of people who are in receipt of benefits are the working poor or families who are living day by day and if these cuts are imposed by the Tories it would have a devastating impact on them and it would be the situation where it's heat or eat for many families and particularly the elderly and those with disabilities as well would be hit the hardest through these. So I'm here to stand up with Belfast today and with the North to say that we're against these cuts and they should stop. We're totally against the welfare reform coming in. You only have to look uh, across the water at the devastation it's already caused. Thousands of people have lost their homes. There's even deaths attributed to people with their benefits being cut. Uh, people with disabilities are getting their benefits it's cut. People are losing their houses. Uh, we're totally and utterly against it and it's great to see uh, so many people, groups, political parties, organisations here today opposing these welfare reforms. Francie Malloy, 
the impact of these Tory cuts, not only in your own, your own constituency, but when you're talking to Labour MPs, etc., in Scotland, England, Wales, what, what are they saying? Well, one of the things they're actually saying and the community are saying is that their devastation is happening right across the uh, the community because of the cuts that are actually happening already. And they're seeing the experience of it in England at the moment. Uh, and it, it is devastating communities and people are finding it very difficult to actually deal with the situation. I know in mid Ulster term, the effects that it would have on a rural community are massive. And the cuts that we are seeing would devastate the entire community. And it's not just the people who are unemployed, it's the people who are employed on low wages that will probably suffer most. The realisation in England is that unless you actually stop it at this stage, it's too late. Well, to Anne's gaff, John, uh, Don Sahern Shaw, um, August the Shan Tower, but Chen the Kiri has Shaw, if I'm or Winter Sugginya, or Cost Winter Sugginya, in the Cantor Habakta, August Shin and Ati Yanni sitting down with you. So to Shan Tower, the doing you, Shas of Suez, Vincent Channel, and Aiden the Kiri has Shaw, Ak Ernest Rajina, Augustina Haran Shamak, Mark Agoji Marshaw. Gurmila Mayagat, Jerry. Um, it's great to be here today. It's very heartening to see uh, such large numbers from all across the north and all sections of society coming out today. And I want to congratulate the, um, the organisers for bringing us all together on this important issue. And I want to thank you for giving us a platform and for allowing me to speak here at this today. We in Sinn Féin are totally opposed to the imposition of welfare cuts, which would punish the most vulnerable people in our society. Don't be fooled by this title. This has nothing at all to do with reform. It's simply an attack on the poor by a cabinet of millionaires who have no idea of the realities of trying to survive on benefits or on low, low income. It's a Thatcherite agenda designed to hollow out the welfare state and to destroy public services. If implemented here, these cuts will take money out of the pockets of those who can least afford it. That includes the poor, the unemployed, those on low incomes, on working families and people with disabilities. These cuts are not about getting people back into work as the Tories have claimed. The cuts will of course further erode the living standards of the unemployed and push more children into poverty. But these cuts are also aimed at workers on low incomes cutting child benefit and working tax credits and entitlements to housing benefits. The DUP would implement these cuts in the morning. Sinn Féin will fight with every ounce of our being to protect the vulnerable. We... Carol, massive crowd here today and great to see. Oh, it's brilliant. I mean, even just some of the community activists I know, even in my former lifetime as a community and volunteer worker from all over. Um, and I mean, I think everybody's kind of bracing themselves because we all know this is just the start of it. Uh, I mean, like practically every speaker, bar none, spoke about a cabinet of millionaires, the Tories, and who have no graph for anybody who's in poverty, have no graph for people who have experienced decades of deprivation, and particularly have no graph for anybody living in the north who've experienced deliberate decades of lack of investment. So I think it is important that the community come together, that they do, we do stand together, uh, we do oppose Tory cuts, and we try to make sure that we defend the services, the people who are most vulnerable and in most need have, because those services are there for a reason. We fought tooth and nail for decades to get those services, and we ain't giving them up easy. Well, it's great to see community groups from right across the city, from Catholic areas to Protestant areas, from every part of the city. And I mean, that's the hope that I have that these cuts are going to have a devastating impact, not just on places like the Falls or in the Short Strand or Ardoyne or New Lodge, but in Tigers Bay and the Shanker Road. And my hope is that that uh, people will mobilise together. This isn't about uh, green or orange. This isn't about. Uh, Sinn Féin and the DUP, this is about cuts impacting on the people who at least uh, can uh, put up with them. So let's mobilise the gear, let's pull together to fight these cuts. That's that's what we need to do, is stand together, Catholic Protestant the centre. And this is a good start. Community organisations, grassroots people organise this event and they come from every part of the city. And that's what we need to do. We need to put the pressure on the other parties, particularly the DUP, to start to say no to stand together with us, try and halt these cuts before they do have the devastating impact we know they're going to have. 
Well, there's people from all over the north here today, and I think it's great to see people from all religions and none um, coming together to stand with in solidarity with the most vulnerable people within our society. They stand here with the unemployed, they stand here with the um, low paid uh, people, stand here with people with disabilities. This is about solidarity, and this is about showing our strength and our anger at the Tory cuts that they are trying to impose here. And I think the message is sent loud and clear. The north of Ireland is totally opposed to these Tory welfare cuts. This is an absolute disgrace. It shouldn't be happening. Um, this is a cabinet of millionaires who are trying to impose this on our society. And we're saying today, very loud and very clear, you're not going to do that. Well, it's great to see so many people have come out today to show their opposition to Tory cuts. These are savage cuts that the Tories are trying to impose in our communities. So I think um, the fact that so many people have come out today to actually show that they're not going to stand for it and that they're going to stand behind Sinn Féin's position to block the Tory cuts. As Minister of Agriculture and indeed from a rural community, what sort of impact do you think these cuts will have? It's a massive impact and you, I think if you look at it right across the board, the most vulnerable people are going to be affected. We can't stand for that. We in Sinn Féin will make sure that we do everything that we can. We've stood strong in our position and we'll continue to do so.